So, welcome to the next video, and in this one I'll be showing you how to mount the Power Edge Versa rails. These ones are for the 2950s, but I'm sure they're not too different for earlier or later versions for actually mounting them. A um, few things you'll need. You won't need these ones because these are M6, but you will need uh, M5 cage nuts, and if they have already been supplied, then you should get some M5 uh, screws. If you don't, you'll need to go out and buy them. Um, you can buy a bag of M5 cage nuts like that from Kikitech for about 25 quid with free postage, I think, uh, if you want a set, because they're really hard to find. But you should, if you're buying the rails new, get the nuts, no, the bolts, bolts, screws with the rails. If you don't, then you need to get both, both and you'll just have to buy the cage nuts. What you also need is some screwdrivers, so you need a flat head and a Phillips. And the flat head is useful for just pushing the cage nuts into the server rack. And the Phillips is because my cage nuts have bus screws have a Phillips head. And of course you will need a pair of Dell rails like that. So the first thing we want to do is measure up where we want to put the rails. So you're going to find, should we say the left side first? And the way you find out whether it's left or right is it just says front left there. Now if we look at the front of the servo rail, there is a M5 screw hole, a blue clip, and then there's two hooks. And on the back, oh, we have a blue clip, another M5 screw hole and some hooks. And then, if your rails were not designed to fit, or if the, if the rails are different fit to your server cabinet, what you can do, hang on, let me lay this down somewhere. What you can do is move this around. This has got uh, three and five cage nut screw holes there. All you have to do is pull this up and it will release, and you should be able to turn it. Come on, turn. There we go. It will turn into there. You can then lift it up like that and then turn it all the way around and fit it back in. And it will then clip in place. And now, if we're mounting the server rack, we can use them three holes at the front instead of the uh, hooks that we were given. But I'm going to be using the hooks. So I'm just going to want to turn that round again. Right, the next thing you want to do is line it up. So with your server rail, you just want to put it in. and make sure that these are where you want them so when we're putting it in the blue one will snap into one of these holes so what we can do is leave one space and then that will put the blue thing down into that hole there to mount it difficult one hand, I want to push it in so that them hooks will slide in through them holes but I seem to have a problem with my rails so what you might need to do if you end up having this problem is hold it in your knees like that just get your flathead screwdriver and this one might just need bending it slightly so that it fits in with your rails. You just 
turn the screwdriver and that will bend it slightly and it will, should now fit I don't know why they're like that but as I say line it up make sure it's not leaning on anything at the back like it was there and now you can see them have hooked through like that and then all we've got to do is push it down and it's locked in like that and then we see we've got a hole there we, you can put a cage nut in it or you can just leave it and let the uh, server screws here like these ones screw straight through but if you do want to put a cage nut in grab your M5 cage nut uh, you can put I would put a screw in that uh, use your flathead screwdriver push in there if they're tough to push in and you just want to push it in say with your with your thumb which is slightly difficult because these there we go and then now we can use the front of the servo screws to hold them in place and then again you do the back like that this bit here moves so it fits your servo rail slide <coughs> and you'll want to add a cage nut at the back so that it secures it in place like that and then that's it you have got one fitted fully working power edge rail like that once you've opened them if you want to close them again there is a normally a push button right there. Some, some of the rails are slightly different, and they will just push in. And then once you've got that far with this one, it will then push the rest in like that. The way that works is there's a, a locking mechanism there, and when that gets pushed down, it allows this to slide. That's all that is. So, have fun with mounting your server rails and I hope this helped anyone that was slightly confused on how you should mount them. So, I will see you in the next video.